All right, Chris, thank you. Two local dads take a hat and put a new spin on it. Ron Stevens from Springfield and Ted Sampson from Yellow Springs started a hat-making business called Pop Stops, and they're live with us this morning. And basically, guys, this is a mix between a fedora and a baseball cap. Absolutely. <laughs> wow, you guys even talk the same as well as being business partners. Thanks so much for coming in. This is kind of a, a new twist. I started saw the website. It said January 2012 was the start date of your business. Yes, yes. we've been in business um, actually from start to where we are about a year and a half. There you go. And Ted, what has it been like? Uh, it's it's been an experience. I've had previous uh, entrepreneurial endeavors, mm -hmm. but you take it. A small hat and you think that we're going to take this right to market but it follows the same process of a car it's step by <laughs> step, step by step and these are made in America I read that as well yes talk about uh, the design of them and, and who they could be suited for well actually uh, we have three styles presently available okay. on our website and the uh, one style is what they call a telescope all right which has an oval crown then we have another style which is more of a safari or fedora has the crease down the middle and the two dimples in the front oh that this one looks like my kind of hat that all right, right i'm gonna put hat. this on what, what's the what's the third style then <laughs> yes that's right what's the third style and you the got? third style is called a teardrop oh yeah it's shaped in the form of a tear so these are the three styles that we have available in straw and wool felt. There you go. And how's it been going so far in terms of sales? It's been doing great. Uh, we are in five stores now. We have our website and we have some other marketing strategies that we're setting out to do. And also uh, with John being in the entertainment. Yeah, and let me point out, I wasn't going to let him leave without asking about his son, John Legend. Obviously, John Legend, yes, yes. John, everyone here loves him. I saw him actually when he was downtown last September at mm -hmm. the uh, downtown Dayton Revival. So much fun and so much yes. excitement. And how has that, obviously, with him being your son, helped the business? Well, it uh, gives us access to uh, people who are in the same, um, you know, um, entertainment mm -hmm. uh, industry as he's in and so it's it's really uh, to our advantage and his social media probably has over two million people yeah. <laughs> uh, that uh, go goes to his website so that definitely won't hurt us no 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 <laughs> definitely not and congratulations he got married in Italy a yes, couple of weeks ago how yes. was that trip and what was I'm it like? I'm telling you it was great the trip itself was we had some issues because we had a two-hour delay oh. in Dayton Ohio <laughs> which threw our whole trip off but we got to the wedding. They Good. even held the wedding up for us. Oh, wow. Mom and dad, you know, no wedding without <laughs> mom and dad. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, congratulations on that. Thank you. And congratulations on the hats, too. And, and talk about the store here in Dayton that the hats are in. Uh, the stores are at Wendell's Bootery. Okay. Here we have uh, Hat and Soul in Columbus, along with Talibs. Uh, as far north as uh, Mike the Hatter, which is in Cleveland and then as far south as uh, the executive shop in Atlanta. There you go. Well, I think we all look good. I think you Absolutely. guys can agree. And you look oh. the best. Oh, yes, you look you. the best. You guys are too nice. How well, apropos, for, <laughs> you're in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> for more on Pop Stops, log on to fox45now.com and click on Fox 45 in the morning.